Hey everybody, John Skiba from the Consumer Warrior Project and I'm also an attorney at the Arizona Consumer Law Group. We're based in Mesa, Arizona. You know, today we got a ruling from the court in one of the junk debt buyer cases that I was handling. Uh, junk debt buyers are these companies that buy old charged off debts from credit card companies and then they file lawsuits on them. And one of the biggest ones is a company called Midland Funding. And we had a case with them and we've been battling it for over a year for a client and it even went to trial. And this is a case where they were saying my client owed them over $20,000. We went to trial last fall. We won at trial, which was awesome. And they immediately stepped in, the junk debt buyer did, and asked the court to reconsider their ruling and try to bring a bunch of other things in. The court uh, just ruled today that we won again. So. We're excited about that. We've had twice now the court's ruled in our favor. So not only does my client not have to pay Midland Funding anything, uh, there's a good chance under Arizona law that Midland Funding will have to write my client a check to cover the attorney's fees. And I just wanted to talk about junk debt buyer cases just briefly today. A lot of people don't, aren't even aware of what this whole system is with junk debt buying, even though it impacts uh, nationwide and particularly here in Arizona, it impacts thousands and tens of thousands of people uh, as far as their finances go. And what the junk debt buying world is, is at once a credit card company decides they can't collect on the debt any further, what they will do is they will charge that debt off, They still, which means that they're counting as a loss on their books, but they can still try to collect on it. So they charge it off, they package it up in a portfolio and sell it to these companies that buy old charged off debts. Now, there's been studies done by the government that shows that most of these debt buyers pay usually just pennies on the dollar for the debt, sometimes less than a penny for the dollar on the debt, depending on how old it is. And then they file lawsuits in huge volume. There was a study done a few years back that uh, Midland Funding, one of the largest debt buyers in the United States, filed over 500,000 lawsuits in one year alone. I, you know, I monitor the court dockets here in Arizona, and you know, there's all kinds of debt buyers. There's like Midland, there's a Portfolio Recovery, there's Cash LLC, uh, Cavalry SPV, uh, Copper State Management. Uh, there's a bunch of them, big and small, that file a lot of lawsuits. And I saw here in Maricopa County, where I practice, they file hundreds, if not thousands, each and every month against people in, the, in, in Arizona. And for the most part, people have no idea who these people are, and so they get served with the paperwork and people are confused, and rightly so, because you know they get a lawsuit from a company like Portfolio Recovery, and the first thought in your mind is, I don't even know who this company is. I didn't borrow any money from Portfolio Recovery. Uh, they didn't, I didn't agree to pay them anything, and so why are they suing me? And so some people even think that they're not real lawsuits, and they don't respond to them. And for a host of different reasons, over 90% of these cases end in a default judgment. That means that the people did not respond to the lawsuit. And so the message I wanted to put out there today is, if you see something in the mail from one of these debt buyers, Midland, Portfolio Recovery, Cash, Cavalry, SPV, or if you see them on your credit report, just know that their business model is generally to file lawsuits. They do some collections, but they file a lot of lawsuits. And so if you see that on your credit report, or if you get something, if a processor comes by and drops it off, it's legitimate and you need to respond to it. Otherwise, you end up having a default judgment entered against you. And in the state of Arizona, you have 20 days from the day they drop it off at your house to file a written response with the court. Now, if you don't, pretty much game over. They're going to get a judgment. Once they have a judgment, then they can do things like garnish your wages and levy your bank accounts and even lien your home. So it's important that you act because you have some strong defenses. And like I was talking about that case at the beginning, I mean, they were sued by Midland Funding for over $20,000. We went to trial and the judge just said, you know what, there's nothing here. There's no evidence here to support this. Their witnesses didn't have any knowledge of the underlying transaction. And that's a problem when you get into court. So if you receive those things, make sure you act. You can head over to consumerwarrior.com, which is uh, my firm's website. I've written numerous articles, literally over 500 articles. I have all kinds of videos here on the Facebook page as well as on my law firm's page that can help you 
with deciding you know, which way to take this. I also do free consultations just to give you an idea of what it is that you can uh, do to defeat this. Uh, those consultations are for people in Arizona, obviously. Um, so head on over to the website. Uh, again, take action. Don't ignore the lawsuit. Don't ignore the letters coming in. Uh, fight back because when you do, you can get, uh, oftentimes you can get it to either go away completely or sometimes get a good settlement. Uh, one other resource I want to give to you, a great place to read up on what the federal government is doing uh, against these junk debt buyers is uh, the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau's website. You can go over to consumerfinance.gov and read a lot about some of the sanctions that they've imposed against many of these big debt buyers for the kind of garbage that they, they pull. So uh, again, that's consumerfinance.gov. But that'll be it for today. Thanks for watching.